May the words of my mouth and meditations of our hearts be acceptable unto you, O Lord, the one who comes to dwell among us. Amen. I'm so thankful God is consistent. You know, we can depend on God's unwavering, uncompromising love, and I'm so grateful for that. We can trust that God continues to be searching for you and for me and for all those who find themselves hope, hopelessly lost. Always calling us back. Always. Again and again, calling us back into relationship, back into the hopeful love that gives us life. And just like I said last week, I, I want to be ready. I want to trust and believe that this love is offered to me. Again. And again, that's our theme over the last couple of weeks. Again, I'm reminded of a parent engaging in a with a child in a fun-like activity, maybe tossing the child up into the air. And each time catching them and the child begins to laugh and, and giggle. And just when the parent needs to take a, a breath, the child says, again, again. I hear my grandson's voices echoing. Again, Grandpa. I remember the joy of hanging out with my first niece, Nicole. I was a lot younger then. And it was just a, a joy to, to hang out with this little four-year-old, somewhat precocious. And I remember I used to take her arms and I would lift her up from the, from the ground and up really high, and, and, then, and I, when I bring her back down, I would make the sound of a spring. Boing, boing, and she would giggle and laugh, and, and then she would say, again. I was younger then, but I was exhausted. I remember my daughter, Sabrina, loved to wrestle, and she would wear me out, and finally I would say, enough. I said it in a nice way. Children, like adults, yearn for joy, the joy of good times, for, for exciting things, and most especially for that warm, safe love. Have you encountered that? Warm, safe, accepting love. Nurturing love. That's why we go back again and again to those people who love us, who nurture us. That's why we want to be with them. Again and again. We do this in search of love, even at, with the risk of knowing that maybe it won't be what we need. Again, it makes sense that you and I yearn for this kind of, of joyous love and presence with one another because we were created by a God who loves, who is love. So we yearn for it from, from a deep space within. We yearn to be there, to, to experience that love, that acceptance, that grace. We hear a story again this morning 
that comes around every year. We know the story. Yeah, we want to hear it again, don't we? We want, we want to know again that God intentionally chooses the least. Oh, we may not feel like we're the least, or we may not find ourselves being in the midst of uh, a sea of people and being identified as the least. But this is who God is, intentionally choosing those who have been identified by the world as the least, the unimportant, the unaccepted, the unwanted, where they're the, the ones for which there is no room. This is a story about God, about who God is, what God is like. Oh, it's a story about a young mother, a young woman made that becomes a mother. And we hear from her the joy flowing out because she has been chosen by this God who intentionally chooses the least. Chooses the least to bring about the best. Oh, no question God works through people everywhere. Through those who have acted Excess and those who have excessively little. But it is who God is to choose those who the world has decided have little to give. The story we heard this morning follows a prelude to the story, and that's that Mary goes to visit Elizabeth. They're related, but she goes to visit Elizabeth, and when she enters the house and the baby in Elizabeth's womb leaps, Elizabeth announces to Mary, blessed are you the mother of our Lord. As we make our way through the remainder of the Advent season, may we hold a special place in our heart an openness of God choosing those we least suspect as an instrument of joy, of love, of grace. Be open as you move about in your activities for, for someone around you who you may find yourself least suspecting that God is present there or that God has a, a hopeful message for you or me there through that individual and, and be open. Be open again for the presence of God. I promise you, the more open we are to the presence of God through people everywhere, perhaps especially the least suspecting God will speak. And that message will be one of love, one of open your heart, one that will move you to new heights 
of love and peace. Let us pray. Oh God, we thank you for again sharing with us this message through your holy scriptures. It is not a different message. It is a different story, but the same message that you love all people in the world and have a special mercy and grace for those who the world seems to have forgotten their importance. Open our hearts, Lord, in this season of Advent as we continue to make our journey toward that celebration of you being born into our world in a new and wonderful and exciting way. Your grace coming to us in person. And yes, coming to us in the vulnerable Open our hearts, Lord. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.